we need to find the solutions to the following equations a squared minus b equals 73 and b squared minus a equals 73 where a is not equal to b. Here are the two equations. Note that we can solve this by inspection, by putting some numbers in, using a bit of logic. We can get there via that. What we're going to do here though is we're going to use a full algebraic method just to check everything is correct and make sure that we haven't missed any possible answers out. So as both of the left hand sides are equal to 73, we can set them equal to each other. So a squared minus b equals b squared minus a. Now whenever I've got different squares within an equation, now I'm often looking for a difference of two squares. So I'm going to subtract b squared from both sides to get the squares together. And I'm going to add b to both sides to move the non-squares over to the other side. So we get a squared minus b squared equals minus a plus b. So on the left-hand side, the difference of two squares means we get a plus b, a minus b. And on the right hand side, I've factorized that minus, so just to get the a minus b, just like we've got on the left hand side. We can see from this equation that either a minus b equals zero, which would make both sides of the equation equal to zero, or that a plus b from the left must be equal to a minus one on the right. Now in the first case, if a minus b equals zero, this means a must be equal to b, but we said at the beginning that a does not equal b, so we're going to stop that one there. So a plus b must be equal to minus 1. Subtracting b from both sides gives us a equals minus 1 minus b, which we can substitute into either of our first two equations. I'm going to put it into b squared minus a equals 73, so that we don't have to square the minus 1 minus b. But substituting that in, we get that b squared plus b plus 1 equals 73. And subtracting 73 from both sides, we get b squared plus b minus 72 equals zero. We've now got a quadratic to solve. You can use whichever method you're most comfortable with, but we can see from this that 72 is eight times nine, and it's just a difference of one between them to get the B. So we can see that that must be B minus eight times B plus nine equals zero, giving us solutions for B of minus nine or eight. Now from the symmetry of the two original equations, so they're both one of the letters squared minus the other letter equals 73. We can see quite quickly that a must also be minus 9 or 8, just the other way around. But for completeness, let's just double check this. I'm going to use our a equals minus 1 minus b, substitute the b's in just to check what we get. So minus 9, we get a is equal to minus 1 minus minus 9, which equals 8. And if we substitute the 8 in, we get minus 1 minus 8 equals minus 9. So there we go, we've just double checked. Our two solutions are a equals eight, b equals minus nine, and the other way around, a equals minus nine, b equals eight. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.